Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and there's a new version of the Daedalus wallet available for your Cardano, so I'm going to walk you through the download and installation of it. So let's get started. All right, so I'm on the Cardano homepage where you can find out more about Cardano, the cryptocurrency. Uh, and then if you go to uh, get started, you can head over to the Daedalus Wallet website where you can download the latest version of the Daedalus Wallet. So we're just going to go over here to Downloads. There's a little installation guide here, but I'm going to go into it in a little more depth. Uh, I'm going to do the verification. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to do the Windows 64. I'll hit Download Daedalus and I'll just drop that in my Downloads folder. Now, you can go ahead and run this installer if you want to. Uh, don't get all hung up in my verification, but uh, my thinking is if they put these verification tools here, then they must be important, right? Why would they put them there if they're not important? So the first verification is your uh, checksum, your SHA-256 checksum. Now, this is the SHA that they have provided to us you can uh, click here to get it copied into your clipboard. There are several ways to verify a SHA sum. You can do it in the Windows uh, terminal. Uh, you can do an online SHA sum check, uh, or you can uh, download a piece of software that'll do a SHA sum verification for you. I happen to have one here, and uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. So what you need to do is open up the installer that you just downloaded, and we need to verify that. We need to make sure that you got the right copy, that it's not corrupted or altered. And so we compare the SHA-256 that I've generated locally to the one that the developers provided. All right, and I'll click verify, and they match. Okay, so that's well and good. We know that we got a, a good copy of the installer. But uh, we need to make sure that it's the one the developer signed as well. So we can do that with the PGP signature. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. I'll download that PGP signature. And I'm just gonna drop it in the same folder that I downloaded the installer to. Now, before we do that verification, we're gonna to need to make sure that we have the Cardano developer signing key in our verification software. So I'm gonna show you um, Cleopatra. And I've got a great video on getting these tools downloaded. You can see here my uh, set of keys. Now I have my own key. You're going to need to create your own key. Uh, and you can do that pretty easily when you first download and set up Cleopatra. It'll direct you to do it. If you haven't, you can go to File, New Key Pair, Create a Personal Key. And everything is optional. It doesn't have to have your real email or, or name in there. But uh, you just uh, fill in these fields and uh, set a password. That's all you got to do. It's just so you've got this uh, local trust key set up. All right. Now we need to get the developer signing key for the Cardano team. So we'll go back over here. There's a little link here where they've got the instructions. All right. And they say uh, file look up on server and search for this authority key. So we'll do that. There it is. Uh, file lookup on server. We'll uh, paste that uh, key in there and hit search. All right, so when you search for this signing authority IOHK, uh, you're going to get three different ones. Uh, this is the one you need, signing authority IOHK. You can look at the details and uh, check that fingerprint there and it's the same fingerprint that they uh, explain you'll need to uh, download, right? So make sure it's the right one. All right, and then uh, get that guy uh, and just click uh, import. Once it uh, gets pulled down from the server, they're gonna ask you to validate it. That's why you need your own local key. Uh, you don't have to do this, but this is the best way to validate a, tr a certificate so it can be trusted and it won't uh, authorize correctly if you don't. So let's hit yes, right? And uh, using my internal key, which you can create, we'll hit certify and enter the password that you chose when you created your own personal key. 
They're not asking you for their password. They're asking you for your own password. You'll click that. You've got it certified. And there we go. Now I've got that key in my list. So I'm just going to go to decrypt verify. Right. I'm going to uh, click on the installer and I'll click open. And it's going to do the cryptographic verification. And there we go. Well, this is what we want. We want that nice green uh, validation that you've downloaded the proper uh, installer and it's been cryptographically signed by the developers and uh, you've got a good copy of the installer. All right. So we'll click OK. And now we can uh, go ahead and run the installer now that we've verified it. Like I said, the cryptographic verification is uh, not strictly necessary, but uh, my thinking is if it wasn't important, they wouldn't put it here. So uh, I figured I'd let you know what that was, what the process was, and take the mystery out of it. So like I said, if you want to skip that, uh, you're welcome. All right, so once we have the installer downloaded, we can just double click and get going. All right, I'm going to let it install in the uh, default directory. Notice it's called Daedalus Mainnet now, and it will occupy a completely separate uh, space than your original Daedalus wallet. So there's really no need to uninstall your original. Uh, it will actually even import any wallets that it finds in the original. Uh, but it is going to download a completely separate blockchain. All right, so I'm going to hit close here. Get this out of the way. It's going to end up on your desktop as a shortcut. I like to put those in my taskbar so that my desktop is uh, not very cluttered. All right, and then we can just launch it from the taskbar. Now, I did a clean install of Windows since the last Daedalus, so I've completely uninstalled my old Daedalus, so I'm not going to see any wallets to import. I'm going to restore those uh, from my seed phrases. Uh, but that's fine. I'm just going to click continue here. And I'll go ahead and agree to the terms of service. Now, in my situation, I'm going to do a restore. Now, if you had a previous Daedalus wallet on your computer, I believe it will automatically sense it when it launches for the first time. If it doesn't, uh, and you may have your Daedalus data stored on a secondary drive or something, you can do the import. Uh, or you can, of course, create an empty wallet. That's fine, too. I'm going to do restore. All right, I'm going to import a Daedalus wallet. All right, I noticed that they don't have the 15 words, so they are not allowing us yet to import those test wallet uh, rewards wallets in this version of Daedalus, which I'm a little disappointed in. But I'll go ahead and import my normal Daedalus wallet. I think I had this name storage before, but it doesn't matter what you named it before. Now, uh, they're also uh, gonna force you to uh, put passwords on these now for security. All right, and then we'll hit close. All right, so it's showing the wallet, but I'm not going to see the balance in the wallet until the blockchain is completely synced up. Now, they say that they've added uh, restoring more than one wallet at a time, which uh, I ran into that limitation before. So I'm going to test that one out because I've got more than one wallet. So I'll hit restore, Daedalus, 12 words, and I'll go ahead and enter those 12 words. I uh, named this one shopping before, just so it's clear in my head. But it, like I said, it doesn't matter what you name any wallet that you've restored. It doesn't have to be the same name you used the first time. It, everything is dependent on the recovery phrase. And the title and the old password don't matter. And there we go. So as you can see, I've got two wallets here uh, that are being restored at the same time. So that's pretty cool. I'll just uh, let that go ahead and uh, restore. Now they've got some new features here in the Daedalus wallet, some, uh, some help features. You can download your log. You can uh, open a support request automatically from the wallet. So they've added some additional features, which are pretty cool. 
and uh, we'll continue this once we've uh, done the full sync. Okay, so now you can see that the wallet has completely synced up. I've got uh, both wallets here. Um, I, of course, like I said, I did the restore from the 12 word recovery phrase. Uh, the wallet uh, synced up pretty quick, uh, a matter of hours rather than all day long. So it looks like speed has improved, stability has improved. Uh, they still don't have uh, the feature that allows you to restore your 15 word uh, test wallet uh, where we were uh, running on the test net and earning uh, Cardano. They don't have a feature for restoring that into a real wallet yet. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully that will come soon and hopefully we'll be able to stake our ADA directly from the wallet. Uh, I don't believe they have that yet. Yeah, they, uh, they don't have staking yet in this wallet. So uh, we'll wait and see where that goes. But the Daedalus wallet is a great place to store your ADA. And pretty soon, I'm sure they'll be supporting in-wallet staking. And uh, so this is the next step towards that. So if you uh, wanted to receive some ADA in the wallet, then uh, you just go over here to the Receive tab. And you've got this address here that you can copy into your clipboard and paste into an exchange if you want to buy some ADA and withdraw to this wallet. That would be the way to go. So if you wanted to buy uh, ADA on uh, Binance US, you can purchase ADA on Binance US. You would uh, simply buy some ADA, do a withdraw, and paste in that uh, recipient address of your wallet, right, in order to make your withdraw. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you've seen me do stuff like that quite often. So that's it. That's the new version of the Daedalus wallet. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget I have a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for my live Q&A from Michigan where you can throw out questions and I'll do my very best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.